It will be Crosby. Evgeny Kuznetsov facing off center circle, and we are underway. And again, also on ESPN Plus, centered back towards Orla. Jumping in the passing lane, Kapanen, and a hit ahead. Oh, what a beautiful pass to Rodriguez. He hits the iron. Evan Rodriguez with a break as Kapanen with the perfect outlet pass. This is a great play by Kasperi Kapanen as he picked up the loose puck. He's starting to look over his left shoulder to see what's available. Look at Evan Rodriguez sprint out ahead. He gets out ahead of the pack, ahead of Lars Eller. In clean, and Rodriguez, who's had a terrific season, picks his spot, but he hits the post dead. Eddie Bluger, a one-touch pass right out in front. Oh, sends oh. zone up. Is able to move left to right. He's made a couple of terrific saves, including this one with the left pad. Off Zach Aston Reese. That is broken up with a reach and neutralized. Thrown out in front. Oh, Vetchkin just missed on a little soft backhand pass from Tom Wilson. It's Tom Wilson retrieving a loose puck and finding Alex Ovechkin in tight. He just chips this wide. Weaving his way into the offensive zone as Matheson plays one back up high. In between the circle, one time shot, score! Oh, what a beautiful setup. Danton Heinen pays it off. And the Pittsburgh Penguins take the early 1 0 lead. Difficult year last year has been terrific. His eighth goal of the year. This is a beautiful play by the Penguins as they play a little give and go. Heinen works the puck into the middle of the ice and slides it outside to John Marino. Marino's pass goes. Left to right on Samsonov and through the traffic in front of him. He's a little late to pick it up. Heinen makes no mistake. Ovechkin trying to sweep the puck off his stick. And here comes Alex Ovechkin down the left wing. Brings it across the line. Toe drags. Moves in. Rolls the puck into the pads of Jari. Could not get any mustard on the shot, though. And Rodriguez pitches one forward. Ovechkin makes a dash for 7.51 as he gets the forward Kapanen to get his skates together. Now you can't turn. The puck just slides. Cruising across the line is Orlov. Fires a wrister. That's blocked away by Jari. It has to come back with the paddle and make sure that Connor Sheary was not lurking along the goal line as we check in with Emily. Eller tries to kick the puck along. It's out in front. Sheary at wrist shot. Blockered away by Jari. Then you know what. Tank pivots along the right wing, half board. 17 years in, still taking that punishment. Night in and night out. That shot towards the net goes in! A hope and a prayer from the gin from the half boards. It caroms in behind Ilya Samsonov. Seemed to surprise Samsonov. And Pittsburgh has a 2 0 lead. There's nothing going on here. It's Kuznetsov and Bluger or near the front of the net. This hits the outside of the right foot of Evgeny Kuznetsov. And Samsonov has lost his stick at this point. And between his elbow and the post over the pad, Brock McGinn, who was brought in as a free agent, a four-year deal. Perseverance is such a big part of Brian's story. He was out of the league last year, practiced every day, waiting for an NHL team to call. Finally, the Penguins gave him a chance this year because of their injuries, and you can tell, doesn't take it for granted. There's Kasperi Kapanen. Yeah, don't take it for granted when that number one line is on the ice as well for Pittsburgh. As Rodriguez, Crosby, and Kapanen all combined to strike again for the Penguins. They've got a 3 0 lead. Kasperi Kapanen to get going, that they need more from him. He was asked this week, How would you rate your game? He said, Terrible, thanks. He takes the pass <laughs> from Crosby and zips it by Samsonov. Kasper, Kasperi Kapanen has been outstanding tonight. A couple of chances in the first period. You see how pumped he is. He has to kick it back, skate the stick. Definitely done. And now Leeson down the wing. Throws it towards the net. Pumped on net. Jari is there to make the save. All over Latang. The other way comes Kapanen. And one out in front. And Rister is blockered away. By Samsonov. Not going to be able to hide in the weeds anymore because every time he's been on the ice, it's been a chain, dangerous chance, it seems like, for the Pittsburgh Penguins. This is what they've waited for from Kapanen. Power, speed. Here he finds Dominic Shimon nose to nose with Samsonov, who makes a terrific. Dumoulin plays one left side for Latang. That's blocked by Sprong. 
He fans on the first pass attempt, but now hits Ovechkin. Kuznetsov moves into the backhand and scores! Evgeny Kuznetsov off the feed from Ovechkin. And the capital strike with a fast break goal. They're on the board. It's now 3-1 Pittsburgh. A long breakout after Sprong fanned on the first attempt. He finds Ovechkin way up at the other blue line. There's the whip. Everybody stops for a second, and now Ovi's got a little bit of room. He knows Kuznetsov's coming up the middle of the ice. And as he finds Kuznetsov, the Penguins are in no position to deny him. He slides it around the left foot of Tristan Jari and Alexander Ovechkin. Oshie turns it over. Kapanen has oh. a nice toe drag by Kapanen. And an unbelievable save sprawling to his right. Samsonov as he was there to rob Dumoulin a moment ago by Kapanen. What an unbelievable move by Kapanen as he drags it around Orloff to find Dumoulin. Look at the save, the athleticism of Samsonov as he's leaning to his right and then he flashes the left pad back to keep the Caps in the game. Yikes, can they score? Well, it was 3-0 Pittsburgh. Capitals with that last goal we showed you, but now they're running out of time. They've got the net empty. Ovechkin sets up Eller. Score! It's not over yet! Ovechkin to Eller, the quick snapper, past Jari. And with 2.46 to go, we've got a one-goal game. Up two goals, you're not going to miss very often. Well, he did miss. It's a face-off back on the icing. Ovechkin's got his second assist of the night, and Lars Eller makes a perfect shot off the post past Tristan Jari. For Washington, they empty the net, looking for the equalizer. Jari sends it all the way around, ends up loose, and now it is taken by Crosby. Puts the brakes on, easily over for a walk-in empty net goal by Jeff Carter. And just like that, with 1.53 to go, the Penguins have a two-goal lead back. Although the Capitals, I think, are claiming that the puck went out of play. Uh, by the attacking team. Uh, this was in the defensive zone. You play until you hear a whistle. And there was no whistle. You keep playing. That's what you're taught from the time you're six years old. Uh, they don't have any case here. Play on. And that's exactly what happened. They did play on. But you could see Oshi and Ovechkin both reacting as if the puck should have been ruled out of play. And then, Ray, as you said, the extra bad brick is it hits the legs of the linesman and creates an easy empty net goal for Pittsburgh. Across the line, Kuznetsov carries it deep behind the net, looking to center, and does! Jerry put it on, and Jari was there. It's a lot better when you win. <laughs> Three seconds to go, and after playing probably two and a half perfect periods of a road game for Pittsburgh, they are rewarded with a 4-2 win.